Hello, hello, hello. This is Attorney Mike Gavin coming to you from Chicago. As usual, I was trying to go about my day. I got tipped off. The sovereign citizen rolled into Judge Simpson's courtroom. I couldn't help myself. We're doing it now. I have not seen it. There's no way it can't be good. <laughs> There's no way it can't be good. That, that's, that's my theory. That's what I'm rolling with. Let's go. Secret headquarters of the Sovereign Citizen Patrol. Initiating video production sequence. We are no longer playing. So let's get revved up. It's time for Law Talk with Mike. Can I ask you a question? Yes, Judge. Why would you do, why would you do this? Oh, man, I got to get together. Oh, we're here. It's a party. I think this is where it starts. There we go. No box sport yet, but we're working on it. All rise. 14A District Court, County of Washington, State of Michigan is now in session. Also, there's a happy to be in the court here. Yeah, there. The Honorable Judge Jay said he could preside. You may be seated. <laughs> court does call the case. Uh, Peninsula Place versus, is it Travis Lane? Oh, let's do it. Here. Good afternoon, Mr. Davis, <laughs> here on behalf of the plaintiff. Sir, your name? Sorry, Judge. You can already see Judge Simpson knows what he's in for. <laughs> All right, this is the date for non-jury trial, and this is a non-payment of rent case. How much is the plaintiff claim is owing? The total balance at this time is three thousand three hundred twenty dollars seventeen cents plus court costs of 161. I assume this is a bench trial. I'm sorry. 3,000. $3,320.17. It's too loose for right. a jury. I, yeah, I sir, I... sir, of that amount, is there any that you believe that you owe? No. You were going to say something. I was going to ask to Jack what he was about to say as far as about the numbers. About saying what I owe, but you already answered the question. I mean, ask me the question. Yeah, you just did. What are your opening positions? Goofball. Hey, Mr. I can break Penn. down that amount if you want me to, Your Honor. Pardon? I can break down the amount if you'd like me to. Um, just one moment. We'll, we'll it's not going to matter. Um, he knows he owes it. Sir, can I ask you, um, I received the documents from you. Is there, is there a reason why you don't think you owe that amount? Because it's already been paid, Your Honor. Um, far as... It's a rough start already. Uh, reporting adverse information about a call center at 211 of 1989. Um, Vanessa Place is trying to help me liable as the co signer when I have an uh, interest and a signature and I'm a natural person. So they're trying okay, to so they're trying that, to liable. Okay, so let me ask you this. Okay. Um, just so that we, I have the background on you, you reside in this unit that's at, um, I think 315 B right. at 1000, you, you reside there. Um, that's my place of all my life. Well, you, you live there, right? <laughs> 
It's my place of abode. Depends what you talk about. Which is coming I'm acting as a consumer. So, um, far as like my, um, and they're on special appearance in my eighth, my estate uh -huh. stays there. But far as a natural man, I don't have no um, place. But far as my estate and my. Okay. So when whoever is in this courtroom leaves here to go what, to what they would call home, where does this person that's sitting here go? To my place of abode, Your Honor. After Which that. is where? A plaintiff's place. Okay. At the 315B. Correct. All right. That's what I need to know. Okay. Is there a, do you have a ledger? And I'll give Mr. Lane a copy also. Thank you. And Mr. Fantero, this would be your witness, is yes. that correct? Yeah, okay, why don't, we do look this? At it. why don't we have her and Mr. Lane sworn in, please? Thank you. Uh, yeah, one. Yeah. Raise your right hand. Do you solemnly swear or affirm the testimony you're about to give will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God? I do. Or could I give you a real quick context on that? Yes, please. Well, we got through that. Okay. We had a previous case last summer where Mr. Lane received Sarah funds. Um, and when we had the, when we had the, uh, I have a copy, I have a case number, I have a copy of the unsigned copy of the COD. Um, that was entered on September 9th. SOS paid his rent through September and it left a small balance of, uh, I think about $119, which, which we waived. So the balance, even though it doesn't show it on there because we didn't actually get the SOS check till sometime later, his rent at the end of September was zero. So the total balance that's on there is five months of rent at five per each of water and sewer bills, electric bills. There's not even any late fees. And then there's 161 in court costs. So I just want to clarify that in fact, it, none of this goes back past September 30th. So the government paid his rent, or most of it. In fact, if you, I don't know if you remember. The landlord waived we the actually, difference. When we had the previous case, Mr. Lane had sued Peninsular Place seeking the return of all money he paid forever. And <laughs> he denied that he owed money, but simultaneously applied for Sarah. And he denied he applied for Sarah. From the apartment, of course. You verified with <laughs> probably Aaron at the time that he had applied for Sarah. He ended up getting Sarah funds. He would not sign the COD. And then you basically gave him a choice. I'll enter the COD or we'll have a trial. And Simpson remembered, I guarantee it. But sounds like he's raising some of the same stuff now that he attempted to raise. Donna, free speak. Go ahead, sir. So, Your Honor, when I applied for, so at first I didn't know what I was applying for. So when I applied for Sarah funding, I ended up giving my principal information, which is was, was my name, my date of birth, and my social security. Social security. Basically, I'm here today saying that I gave my principal to Peninsula Place, and I've never received any center consideration. Your Honor, I don't understand what that means. I have a lease here that is between Peninsula Place and Trellis Lane. It's not between <laughs> this poor guy is taking it the seriously. state of Trellis Lane. It's not between it's not with I think I saw somewhere here a something that he recorded with the state of Michigan. Um, Certificate of assumed name, TTL, L, LLC. The lease is with the name is with Trellis Lane, 
who is, an, is a person. And Your Honor, I took control of my name. So that means all interest and consideration will be coming out to me. Okay, let me, well, I, I, I again, I don't know what that means. However, are you Trellis Lane? Um, That's a yes or no. Here we go. Because I'll tell you, if you are, mm -hmm. then we'll go ahead with the trial. If you're not Trellis Lane, then I'm going to give them a judgment by default because Trellis Lane hasn't shown. I'm, I'm, I'm here on special appearance. No, you can't do that. You are not an attorney at law because you can't appear for somebody else. So my question is, and I'll ask it again, are you Trellis Lane? Yes, Your Honor. Thank you. Oh, that's what we thought. That was beautiful. So, Mr. Lane, October of two thousand twenty two. Mm -hmm. Did you pay rent to the landlord? Yes, Your Honor. Okay, and how did you pay that? I'm paying with, with my credits that's on file. So I sent instructions back in May, basically to get my account zero every month. You do what? I, I sent instructions back in May, then I sent another one to December to the CEO. The CEO of what? Uh, American Campus Committees. So, mm -hmm. aware of what's going on, basically, like I say, I'm looking for consideration. I have not been getting no consideration, no adequate consideration. Well, you get adequate consideration for the contract and any payment by virtue of the fact that you have a residence. So, I don't think consideration is even an issue. Well, well yeah, I, I have several questions. <laughs> well, you can go ahead and ask your questions, but I don't know. Let me just ask this. October 2022, how did you pay your rent? I paid with my endorse. I took the bill. I endorsed it. Did you give them cash? They don't have. Um, we being whom? I'm saying we, it's a credit system, Your Honor. It's a what? It's a credit system. We don't. We don't. So, have money. so who's in charge of this credit system? So who's in charge? Surely. I mean, we didn't have. We haven't had money since 1933. The marriage and banking. We being whom? Who, who are you talking about we when you say we haven't had money? Who is we? As far as like the United States haven't had money since 19. Oh, they definitely have. And I spent my share. So <laughs> I don't know. You, you're you saying you gave them credit. Yes. In what form did you give them credit in the month of October 2022? Then credit, I took the bill, which they give me a bill every month, which is a statement. I take the statement. If you want to, I can show you. Well, yeah, I know what he's referring to. Can I show you? Yeah. Well, show him and then I got copies for him. Here's 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 what I here's what he's getting, Your Honor. We have a third party billing company um, called Z, uh, Zigo. And so what they do is every month they bill uh, the, the utilities. So he gets this bill. And then you'll see at the bottom what he writes is pay to the order of Peninsula Place. And so what he's taken, so for, the, for example, the top one says pay to the order of Peninsula Place 662.12. That amount is his monthly rent plus the 123.12 in utilities that are at the top. There's three of these that I've attacked. So what he does is he cuts off the bottom and he mails that in as with instructions to pay to the order of Peninsula Place as if that's a check. 
going to have this marked as minus six here and two. The ledger being one. But Mr. Lane, you have a copy of what I've marked as plaintiff's exhibit two. It really is does. What it? Mr. Fantera described, is that correct? Is that what you do? Yes, I'm I'm ex I'm accepting the credits that's given to me and I'm transferring to that. Who's giving you this credit? They, they who? So Nestle Place, they're basically there. So in the in the beginning, when I signed up with Penestle Place, I gave my credit information. So those payments are supposed to come to me as credit. So what they're what payments? The payments that's coming every month. So so those payments, they're trying to hold me liable for it. And I'm taking the credits that I'm receiving and dishing it back to them to Penesa Place. I, what is, I have a, who's giving you credit? You said who's giving me credit? Yeah. I, I have credit, Your Honor. I have a security interest. In what? In this so-called contract with Penesa Place. Okay. But who's giving you credit? <laughs> Young man, you keep using these terms, payment, credit, and it seems to me as I'm listening to you that you're using them improperly. So my question is, have you paid anything to the plaintiff in U.S. dollars or anything that evidences U.S. dollars? No, I haven't paid in U.S. dollars. But or anything evidencing U.S. dollars, yeah. like a check, credit card, anything like that. So this is... No, that's a yes or no. Can you repeat the question, Yana? Have you... Uh, uh, let me just break it apart so we get it real clear. Have you paid for the months of October 2022, November 2022, December 2022, January 2023, or February of 2023? Have you paid to anything to Peninsular Place in U.S. dollars? No, Your Honor. Have you paid anything to them that is evidence of an account which holds U.S. dollars? Yes, Your Honor. What? And what account is it attached to? You better be careful about answering my question. Because I, if you're telling me that you gave them or paid them something that evidences an account that can access U.S. dollars, show it to me. Is that access to U.S. dollars? Right here. What is that? What what Mr. Frantera just gave? Yes. How does that access U.S. dollars? Because, Your Honor, this account, I'm the holder and I have the interest. Then show me the balance on that account. The, they show you the balance? Yep. Just show you the balance. No, you haven't shown me anything. Show me the balance on the account. If you give somebody something that evidences that they can access U.S. dollars, then there is a balance on that account in terms of what you're giving them. Much as if somebody gave a check to them, they would be able to show the account for which they can then present that check and receive U.S. dollars. Show me that account, Mr. Lane. Like I said, I don't know what else you're asking for. This is the- No, you know exactly what I'm asking for. You're asking for something that's coming out. Something that evidences that by that piece of paper that you've given them, that they can access U.S. dollars. Okay. 
I don't have any other account besides this, Your Honor. You don't have any what? I said I don't have any other evidence besides this right here. That right. does not show me that they can access U.S. dollars. Okay. Where would they take that to, in your mind? Where would they take that to to access the United States dollars? Put it on the ledger. Where would they take it to, to access U.S. dollars? Okay. So, Your Honor, so I got a, I got a question. As far as landlord and tenant, tenant relations, uh, relationships, it's in here. I'll try to answer your question as soon as you answer mine. Okay. Where would they take it to access U.S. dollars? They would take it in take the check and put it on a ledger with my credit. Because if I owe something, Your Honor, it would be in the negative balance. How can I pay something that's in a positive balance? How how can- We don't have a positive balance. This is a you problem. have given them a piece of paper that you yourself just said is a check. So where would they take that to access your account so, Your Honor, and receive U.S. dollars? Honor, they're acting in this honor. They're taking it and they never said anything about or object to it. So it was off there. Off oh, they're objecting now, certainly. Yep. Where would they take it, Mr. Lane? So where would they take it? I mean, as far as we got to say, uh, we have, they have a security deposit deposition bond. So they have it in a financial institution. What financial institution I'm not would sure. they take it to Just to get cash from your check, as you call it? Just words he doesn't understand. That would then be debited from your account. Where would they take it? So debited. So, so what about the credit, Shana? I don't see a credit. On this paper, it says credit payments and credits. That's not what it means, what? to the extent it says that. You have no credit. Where would they take it to get U.S. dollars? Where would they take it? They would take it out of my trust, Sean. Out of your trust? Yes. Where is this trust located? Oh, I have a trust in me. Okay, let's There's say no we government. all do. I'm not accepting your premise, but let's say we all do. Where <laughs> is your trust located? I'm not sure where it's located, Yana. But so if they wanted U.S. dollars for this thing you purport to be a check, you can't tell them where to take it. In the treasury. Which treasury? The treasury. Oh, so they have to go to the U.S. Treasury with this thing that purports to be a check. Really? Yes. They're pulling from the Treasury. That's why they asked for my information. Who is pulling from the Treasury? Peninsula Place, Your Honor. So Peninsula Place is pulling from the U.S. Treasury. I got the account attached to my name with my social and my information. So they're pulling from the U.S. Treasury because of that? Say that again. So because of that, they're pulling from the U.S. Treasury? I mean, they're charging an account. They got, so this account has my information tied into it, which is, which is showing that it's already prepaid. So what they're trying to do is make me, Peninsula is trying to make me repay You've never paid anything. So they're not trying to make you repay. They're trying to make you pay. Honor, so how did we get here if I never provide, if I, if I provided my information to Peninsula Place? We got here because you have never provided them anything. Okay. 
to pay beautiful. on this account in U.S. dollars or anything evidencing U.S. dollars. That's how we're here. For five months. You haven't done that. Okay. So, in the in the, um, in the contract, it says payment, and then specify what type of payment. I'm asking you: Have you paid them in U.S. dollars? No, paid in credit. But you have no credit. Yeah, this is evident. In order, hold on. Okay. In order to pay in credit, if you will must have something that evidences a balance on that credit. I've already asked you once, why not? I'll ask you again. Show me something that evidences the credit. That shows the credit? The birth certificate and the social security membership. Oh, on my line sweet of Jesus. That I applied. So how much is in that line of credit? You say how much is in the line of credit? Sure. If you got a line of credit, it's got to have a value. So how much is in it? I believe, every, I believe everybody has a billion dollar line. I didn't ask in everybody. I'm asking how much is in your line of credit? Well, with Peninsula Place, whatever. No, I'm asking you. You're saying... It's your birth certificate and the social security. You have a line of credit. I don't believe that to be the case, but what the heck? Let's ask you how much is then in your line of credit? I'm not sure. So if you're not sure how much is in there and you give them this thing that evidences, as you're saying, let's just take this one month of $662.12, you don't know if that can be subtracted from that credit you supposedly have. I'm, a, I'm believing at least a billion dollars worth of credit. <laughs> oh, you have a billion dollars worth of credit. We all have credit. A billion well, dollars. I'm not worried, what he said. worried about anybody else's credit. I'm worried about yours. So you're saying you have a billion dollars. But you have nothing that shows me that you have a billion dollars worth of credit. He thinks it's in the ballpark, Judge. <laughs> Holy shit. Mr. Lane, plaintiff <laughs> is claiming that you owe them $3,320.17. Tell me every reason why I should not give them a judgment for that amount. That's going against the Michigan Consumer Protection Act. What particular provision are you claiming of the Michigan Consumer Protection Act? Enter into the consumer transaction in which the consumer weighs or purports to waive right benefit or immunity provided by loss. Uh, um, by law, unless a waiver is clearly stated and the consumer has specified consent to it, I never gave no consent. What have they asked you to waive? He, he's not very bright. He just wants to buy time. To my rights. To as what? A as a consumer. consumer of what? He said a consumer of what? Yeah. Of this contract. What rights did they ask you to waive? My interest. What interest? I have an interest in this in this so-called contract. Oh, you do. You also have certain <laughs> obligations under that contract. So I have obligations. Oh yeah. Okay. Like payment. Okay. According to, like I say, landlord and tenant relationship. Um. Pay the landlord for all the rent arranged of the rental agreement. That's basically what I have the security deposit for. 
No, your security deposit is not under Michigan law for that reason. What is for it, Your Honor? That's what it says, security deposit permissible uses. I mean, there is no security deposit under this lease. They do not require a security deposit, it's zero. Okay, even worse. <laughs> Under which, which you don't have a security deposit. Your security deposit is zero. You did not pay a security deposit when you moved in. This client does not require. You, you say move in. All this, this from where? And even if you had one, security deposit act, you can't apply it. Exactly. So. What other reason do you have why you don't owe this money? And what other reason? I have? Yeah, you told me landlord tenant relationship act, which you haven't pointed to a particular provision. You talked about a security deposit of which you have none. So that can't be a reason. I don't know. And you haven't pointed to anything under the landlord tenant relationship act that would even be applicable in this particular case regarding the monies that you owe. You cited the Michigan Consumer Protection Act there's been no benefit that they've denied you, no interest that they've denied you. So that can't apply. Give me some anything else as to why you don't know this. Anything else why I don't know this? I don't understand what else that you're looking for. Like I said, I want you to tell me every reason why I should not say and give them a judgment for this, the $3,320.17 plus their cost. I haven't seen this yet, but I think we're headed that direction. <laughs> so, yeah. Just a guess. I'm, I'm sorry, can you do that again? You're losing. Saying, <laughs> so how is it not like a contract of adhesion that is more beneficial <laughs> to finesse the place? I don't know what that meant. Explain what you're trying to say to me. So it's two parties, and I consider the the weaker part. So they wrote this contract and all in the benefit for them. So where did I have any say so in this contract? Well, you had the big say so of no, you didn't have to sign it. So ain't that false and misleading? They ain't, we'll never know. No, that's not false and misleading. It's supposed they to be didn't, disclosure. They didn't force you to sign it. You signed it. So I'm signing. So is this a loan that I'm getting from Peninsula Place? No. You are not getting a loan from Peninsula Place. So, you are renting an apartment. Correct. In consideration for the use of that apartment, which belongs to Peninsula Place, you're to pay them rent. You haven't for the last five months. Actually, you didn't pay it before then because Sarah paid it, but you haven't paid rent for the last five months. And all bills are prepaid. No, they're not. Okay. Your bill is not prepaid. Like I said, it's in the positive balance. If I owe anything, it will be in the negative. <laughs> what the? F I don't even know what that means because your <laughs> positive versus negative is different than anybody else I've ever come across. <laughs> He's got at least a billion, Judge. Is, is yes. Right now, you're in the negative of about $3,320.17. When <laughs> I look into my portal, it shows a positive balance. I can't, can't, can't owe something in a positive balance. It's just if I log into my app on my mobile device to look at my bank account, it's in a positive balance. Your bank account. <laughs> yes, this is a positive balance. If I owe anything, it will be- So you have the money so you have $3,320.17. Yes, I'm giving an example. What's giving an example? If I owe anything, it would be in the negative. I don't know what that means. You so, don't have a credit on this account. 
You owe them $33.20, uh, If I don't have a credit, Your Honor, how, how do they make up an account number with all my information? I had to give them something. Yeah. You gave them your information. You, the only thing you haven't done is give them money. So in other words, you're telling me that I have to repay them, which is already paid. You never paid it. No matter how many times you keep saying it, you never paid it. Like I said, John. You've never paid anything since October. I, I have federal questions. Didn't pay that you either. You federal questions. The taxpayers okay, paid well, it for you. You can take those up where they'll hear those. I don't know what federal questions you have because every state question that you attempted to try to raise falls flat on its face. There's no violation of the Michigan Consumer Protection Act. There's no violation of the Truth and Renting Act. You haven't paid anything. You won't show me an account where that even evidences that you had the money. You haven't paid it. So this account right here doesn't show my name, Your Honor. You don't have an account. If you're talking about a financial account, you don't have an account. You haven't shown me one. I've asked you for it. You yeah, I'm paid that. Like I said, the account is right here, Your Honor. That's not your account. So who account is it? it? It has my name on it. You keep calling it an account. It is not an account. You'll have a lot of things that will have your name on them. They aren't your account. They're tied into with me, and I have an interest. <laughs> okay. You can have an interest. You can have all of that. You have nothing where they could go and get cash. Nothing where they could go and get anything that would even remotely represent payment on this account. And you haven't done so for the last five months. So, yeah, on this ledger, it's a payments credit. Look, I'm not going to sit up there and go back and forth with you on that. I asked you just plain out. Tell me every reason why you don't think you owe this money. on a responsible, responsible party and I gave my endorsements. They accepted it and I'm demanding pay. They never gave me pay. Like I said, I have my birth certificate, I have the social security number showing that I am a Do you home. have a bank account? My bank account? What, what does the bank account have to do with Because it? that's usually how people pay yeah. for their rent. Yonder, all I'm doing is enforcing my rights. I'm not sure which rights you think you're enforcing. Because I haven't heard one yet. Is there any other reason you believe that you don't owe this 33-2017 that you have not already stated to me? Any other reason? I have any other reason besides, like I say, Yana, it's already prepaid. And they're trying to make me pay twice, acting in dishonor. Oh my God. And not returning, not saying anything of it. They're not accepting. So they've been taking it ever since I started, what, maybe March last year? Ma'am, your name is. Jane, full name? Jane Hogan. Miss Hogan. And you, what is your position with Penn Supply? I'm the property general manager. Okay. And you would be familiar with the books and ledger regarding this particular this particular unit? Yes. You had an opportunity to review that prior to coming to court today. Is it true that $3,320.17 is the balance that's owed on this account? Yes. Thank you. Sir, is there any other reason why you don't think you owe that money? Oh, yeah. Because I'm about ready to rule. 
Well, I thought it was supposed to get a, a jury trial. No. I set this for trial sometime back in December, actually. Jury trial is waived. So my Are you waving in front of a non jury trial? Oh. Sir, you gave no objection nor requested a jury trial. So. Yeah, I gave no objection. Okay. When I set the date on December 23rd, you get there was no objection to that. Got to file a jury demand right away. And because you had not requested a jury trial at any given or you're up. So I'm not even going to get into that. You waived that right. <laughs> oh, any other Lord. reason why you don't think you owe the money that's been testified to, sir? Oh, yeah. All right. Mr. Pantera, you forego closing argument. Yes, Your Honor. All right. Is there anything else you want to say to the court? I have federal questions. It's an appeal. Uh, all right, court. Yeah. As soon as I enter my judgment, you'll be able to appeal all you want. <laughs> Maybe you can perfect it. So the court, having heard the testimony in this case, the court would find that plaintiff has sustained their burden of showing that the defendant owes $3,320.17 in outstanding rent and charges on this account. And the court would uh, order a judgment to the plaintiff in that amount, plus its cost, that would constitute then the redemption amount on this um, premises. The defendant would have 10 days Pay that, which means he would have to pay that by February 24th or a writ of restitution or order of eviction may issue. I will sign a judgment. Should I show it to Mr. Lowe? Please? Show it to him if you'd like, or you can present it to the court. I've issued my judgment. Court has signed that judgment. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for playing. Double go. <laughs> I don't know if anything happens here, but I don't feel like cutting out yet. <laughs> the walk of shame is kind of good, just the visual. My problem here was I didn't want to talk over it because I didn't see it. Thank you. We done? They can hear us. Yes. Court teenage stands adjourned. Oh well, there you have it. There you have it. Well, that was something. That was something. I, I knew that'd be good going in. I didn't even, I'm like, I don't even have to preview this thing. I just need to find the start and I'm, and I'm streaming. That's it. And it, it didn't disappoint. It's interesting. The only thing here is I didn't hear him ask if he had a question for the one witness. I don't want to be too, too nitpicky, but I mean, it would have been a complete waste of everyone's time. Don't get me wrong. He doesn't know anything. But he 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 questioned the plaintiff's witness and just to he had already admitted that he's living in the residence. So that that's sort of like, okay, there's your consideration. That's what you're getting under the contract. Then he needed to to just have uh, somebody for the plaintiff, namely that woman who was the representative, say, yes, this is the outstanding balance. I have no doubt that that's accurate. That's the outstanding balance, and that's fine. And he's got a factual basis for the judgment. The only thing is I didn't hear, maybe he did. I didn't hear him say, do you have any questions for her? I mean, it would have taken another half hour. <laughs>
she, and he would have just said the craziest things. But the I, I want a jury trial. You waived your jury trial long ago. Yeah, you know, and obviously, you know, I don't want to pay, pay twice. You've never paid anything to the extent that the rent's ever been paid. It was paid by somebody else. It's it's so it's really so offensive. But that's where we are. That's where we are. So that was that was fun to watch. But I look at that and I, and I just imagine that Judge Simpson knew this was coming. He knows this guy's a soft sit. He isn't confused. He knows every art, argument they're going to make. He knows he's going to refer to some some trust from uh, Unicorn Land where where he's got a billion dollars and, and the, the Treasury's uh, taking care of that somehow, even though he doesn't believe they exist. He, he still denominates his fantasy in U.S. currency, even though it's not real money. You know the whole thing. The, the, the just there's so much wrong with it. But I I swear. Judge Simpson had decided, I'm doing this. I'm going to put my patient's shoes on. I think he went and meditated for an hour before this. And just like, I'm going to, I'm going to stay calm. I'm going to stay calm and get through this hearing. <laughs> it was impressive. It was, it was fun to watch him uh, call it out. And he really was in sort of a procedural sense. Okay, what well, this doesn't work. This doesn't work. This Is there anything else that you would like to say? Now, I mean, no normal litigant would get that. You just like, can you come up with an argument? You haven't come up with one. All right. Judgment, you know, for the plaintiff next. Um, but, but judge Simpson, very patiently, you know, bent over backwards as you do for somebody who's <clears throat> pro se and confused like that. You just want to make sure that they had every opportunity. He sure did have every opportunity. And he said nothing the entire time. It was a lot of fun. Thank you all for coming out. I had no notice because somebody just sent it to me. Someone just told me about it. And I and I think on IG, I, I'd tell you who it was, but I can't remember because I've been doing so much today. He said, I hope you're watching this. I said, well, I'm not, but I'm, <laughs> in my mind, I'm thinking about it. I'm going to right now. And in fact, I'm going to stream it while I do. All right. Thank you all for coming out. I'll see you soon.